Pete Buttigieg is having a moment. Um, what kind of moment, you ask? <laughs> He's having a uh, Jeb Bush kind of moment because he had his please clap moment, and oh, it's so good. We're going to look to you to spread that sense of hope to those that you know. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm bad, but I mean, I can't help myself. Nothing screams desperation like begging a crowd to respond in a way that they don't actually feel. I mean, if you are in a room full of people and they don't applaud you, it's because they don't believe that what you said was worthy of applause. And then, you know, he uh, couldn't take it, though. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that laugh was, but it was really weird. Um... And that's part of the reason why I wanted to talk about this. Because, I mean, Pete Buttigieg in the media, he is often propped up as the next Obama and the establishment loves him. The elite pundit class absolutely can't get enough of him. But this individual is just as out of touch as any other politician in D.C. currently. He may not be in Washington, D.C. He may be the mayor of South Bend, but he's just as out of touch, if not more, than the average politician. And um, I think that he deserves to be covered, even when he does cringeworthy things as well, even if for the most part he's been going down in the polls. Now, um, just for uh, comparison's sake, this was Jeb Bush's please clap moment back in 2015 or 2016. Of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. <laughs> You can see in that clip that there was like a genuine feeling of sadness in uh, Jeb Bush's voice there. You could just see he was deflated because this idiot reality television host just decides to jump in when he was pulling in first and is just dominating the entire Republican primary. And he just, he can't take it anymore. He's to the point where please clap. And now we have uh, Pete Buttigieg having his own please clap moment. And I don't know if that was the same venue. Like I saw people on Twitter point out that it was the same exact venue. Um, so maybe that venue is cursed. I don't know. I, I can't confirm, by the way, that that is the case. Um, but if it is the same venue, I mean, that would make this that much better. So, I mean, I've got nothing else. I just wanted to talk about this because I love uh, dunking on Pete Buttigieg because I think he's a ghoul and it doesn't matter to me that he is a millennial. He absolutely does not represent our generation. This person is a self-serving politician who is a uh, kind of a sociopath in my opinion, but um, that's a different story for a different day. Uh, I can't wait to not hear from him again, but I think that, you know, the media is probably going to shove him down our throats every four to eight years or whenever there is a Senate race. We're going to have to deal with him for a while and he's going to be the next Hillary Clinton. I'm calling it now.